and hello again YouTube well it's a third person I've had a pass me on a scooter right here nice to see uh, people actually using electric scooters somewhere so it's a uh, 9 56 a.m. Wednesday August 24th 2022 I totally got on the wrong bus over there by Rob shop um, I just you know and the funny thing is it uh, I was looking at the app and there wasn't supposed to be any bus showing up nearly that quick that just kind of threw me threw me for a loop um, so uh, anyway I just went ahead I, I grabbed the 30 instead of 32 so um, I just went ahead and rode it on into uh, into Tempe so I'm, I'm near uh, um, rural and and uh, university and I have not been in this area in a, in a long time uh, I used to come to this area all the time so I don't know killing time figure I'll explore it a little bit um, You'll see some things have stayed the same. Uh, FedEx office, that used to be Kinko's. I used to use them all the time going back to, gosh, I want to even say the 1990s. Uh, oh man, my vision is so crap. I can't really make out what the businesses are in this uh, in this strip mall. But hey, the strip mall's been there forever. Um, don't remember it being a Trader Joe's over here. That's kind of... I don't remember what the hell used to be there, but Cane's has been there for a long time. And prior to Cane's, that was actually a uh, Del Taco over there. Uh, I do miss that being a Del Taco. It used to be a 24-hour Del Taco with an, a lobby open 24 hours um, when I lived when I lived in Tempe. I lived in Tempe nearly a decade um, over near uh, Broadway and um, Broadway and Mill. So it's something new going in. <laughs> Eat my taco. All right, that's uh, that's that's classy. Doesn't look like they're uh, doesn't look like they're open yet, or maybe they've already gone out of business. Actually, um, it says "Eat My Taco" within on the building. It says four leaves, so I guess not enough people wanted to eat their taco. That's disappointing. Speaking of uh, eating tacos, couldn't help but notice how uh, a good the homeless woman at the bus stop in front of Rob's shop looked uh, from that angle. Um, now, who knows what who knows what her face looked like? Yeah, that kind of turned around, but wow, um, yeah, that was odd. Um, it's been a long time since I've got into that got into that shopping center. You know, if memory serves, it used to be kind of enclosed, like used to be like a roof between the two buildings there on that corner. Uh, but I'm seeing it now. It's the Sushi 101 on the right side. It used to be a uh, used to be an Einstein Bagels there. It kind of bring me flashbacks of this one time I went there and there went in there just to get. Uh, just to get a, a, a bagel with a schmear lox and uh, ran into this woman that I had had a uh, one night stand with um, maybe like a year before that I had completely lost touch with and uh, and uh, we had another really epic one night stand um, a couple days later so <laughs> kind of went our separate ways again yeah, but uh, ah, good times gotta love gotta love Tempe ah. Anyway, this is yeah, the first time I've walked down here since that building was built, or since that building was built. That all appears to be ASU stuff. Now, that, the corner that's in front of me, that used to be where all the fraternities and sororities used to be, all the old school fraternity houses and sorority houses. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the street that went through there. I think it was in Delphi Lane. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, all those all those houses I want to say built in like the 1960s but yeah those all got leveled a few years back and still a lot of construction going over there going on over there new buildings going in um, this is something that yeah, all this stuff was not here the last time I walked through this uh, through this area I just haven't had much need to be in Tempe you know over the last oh goodness I, I'm trying to think um, yeah, Priscilla used to have an apartment uh, over near, over near like Lemon and Terrace, 
and uh, and and again, like when I met her, I had an apartment in Lake Mill and Broadway, and I moved I moved over to uh, I moved over to the place I'm at currently in Arcadia, mostly to be closer to. Uh, Oh, wow, Gus's Pizza moved. I think that was a Bosa Donuts right there the last time I came over here, but that's where Gus's Pizza is. And Gus's Pizza used to be in the strip mall the time. This new building, Walton Center for Planetary Health. Okay. Certainly some really cool architecture. Very cool architecture. Loving those catwalks, that's neat. It's real neat, I like that, I like that a lot. Um, and it looks like they, wow, and I like this too. Um, so it looks like they, they incorporated the canal, canal into the design. And there's been a canal here, you know, forever, I think, forever, like well over, well over 100 years there's been a canal here that's part of the original you know when this was an agricultural valley and this was one of the ways water was delivered to it so i find it fascinating how they've incorporated that into this uh building design and here you can see where it kind of reconnects to to how the canal was prior to the building this building so that's neat. got the uh light rail uh station over there and and Every now and then I like to talk about transit centers and how, generally speaking, the Phoenix area is failing with transit centers. And this is a pretty good example of one that's kind of a failure. Um, there used to be uh, several bus stops and the buses in this area would all go into that, into that um, little transit center there where you could transfer to white rail. And now they don't. Now, if you get off the train there and you want to connect to the route 72 north you've got to walk across that busy crosswalk and catch the 72 right there um, that right there across from me that's 8th Street that is one of the old old thoroughfares through Tempe I would imagine at one time it used to continue on you know behind where I'm standing but it's it's ended rural as long as I can remember and uh, another bit of forgotten infrastructure that you can kind of see a hint of here is that there used to be, and you can sort of see the train tracks on the other side of the street here, but there used to be a train track that paralleled 8th Street. And that's, you can still see bits and pieces of the rail, but for the most part, that's just been, uh, it's just kind of going away. Uh, not even sure who owns the right of way. That's owned by the city of Tempe now or some other private, you know, who knows, maybe <laughs> the railroad company still owns it. Uh, it was a strip mall on that corner. And that pretty much just fell apart when they uh, realigned, realigned Terrace Road for the light rail. Uh, Terrace used to curve and go through uh, where, that, where that big building is there. That's kind of a weird angle sticking up. So I've really been craving another uh, Whataburger breakfast burger. I'm thinking I'm going to walk towards Whataburger from here. going anywhere near as you can today. Okay, the sign says don't walk, but all the students are walking, so screw it, I'm just gonna walk. Oh. So, you see on the sign here, Tyler, Tyler Street. Uh, Tyler Street used to go through from this light on campus. Well, I guess they got some of the buses. I, I stand corrected. I guess they got some of the buses still picking up here. Looks like I got the. Uh, looks like they got the orbit buses picking up here. I guess it's just the 70, 72 that doesn't stop there anymore because here comes the Morris North Shuttle. Wow, and it's so full. Good to see that the the, the good to see that the uh, orbit circulators are getting plenty of use. Which is, uh, well, of course, I guess what's changed since the last time I was in, uh, in Tempe, which was just a few weeks ago, is that uh, 
I guess it's been about a month since I came down to Tempe. I, I came down to, town to Tempe actually the day that I got home to find out that Priscilla had left for Georgia. It's been almost a month ago. It's like right at the end of uh, July. And yeah, one thing has definitely changed since then, and that is that ASU is now in session. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell from all the, all the uh, students walking around. So, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing today, by the way. I'm just kind of killing time walking around. Um, I do you think I still have the option for VTO tonight and I do think I'm going to take it so that means I'm going to have one week I don't get a paycheck at all from Amazon <laughs> unless, unless I want to turn one of my hours of uh, UPT from last night into uh, into PTO which uh, I'm not going to lie that's actually kind of tempting I might turn a few hours of that into PTO just to see just to see what that does for my paycheck um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, as I mentioned, my, my biggest issue right now oh, is this. I recognize that piece of hardware. That that's uh, that's something off of an electric scooter. It's a time I used to be able to look at that and say exactly what model scooter it is, but I forget. It's definitely a piece off an electric scooter. Been a while since I've worked on any electric scooters. In fact, I think it's been since last November. But, uh, but um, yeah, I've taken apart several of them and and uh, rebuilt them and reworked them. And yeah, that's something I should really work on again. I miss having a good working electric scooter. Be right here you can tell where where uh, oh there it is right there where it says Terrace Mall walked right by it and even notice yeah that's where that's where Terrace used to turn it used to be Terrace went at a like a 45 degree angle through that neighborhood to the left and then made a kind of kind of curved and then went directly uh, west onto campus I guess I walked right by it and just didn't even notice um, yeah, around the time all the, all the light rail went in, it was about the time that strip mall was built. It seems to always change as far as what's in there, but mostly just a lot of trendy uh, food places that kind of cater to the, uh, to the ASU students that have, uh, have lots of mommy and daddy's money to spend on, uh, spend on food. Or, or those that are not using their uh, not using their um, college loans frugally, not using their student loans frugally. And it's amazing how many people get. Oh wow, Dutch Brothers is closed. No way. Um. Oh wow. El Paisano Liquor is now over uh, where the Circle K was. Uh, they used to be uh, over at uh, Harris and Lemon. Yeah, faster and do that the right away. Um, I kind of miss it being the Circle K though. Um, Honestly, he's first started hanging out here in the 1990s. Um, I, I started, started coming around here in the early 1990s as a cab driver, but actually my, my roots in this area go back even farther than that. I remember as a little kid, I mean like little, little kid in the early 70s, and my father had a house over here. Uh, it was, I want to say it was on, I want to say it was on Lemon Street. Pretty sure it was on Lemon Street, or no, no, it wasn't. It was on Orange Street, uh, maybe about a half mile east of here. And he, uh, it was a house that he had that he rented. 
uh, mostly to ASU students or I don't know it's hard for me to really remember who who his renters were I was a little kid like like kindergarten first grade age but I do remember coming with him here on the weekends especially after my parents split up I remember coming with him while he would be doing work on the house uh, painting painting the inside of it and fixing the toilets and all that fun landlord type stuff uh, but yeah it was always a fun trip with my dad to come over to the rent house in Tempe and uh, and where uh, where uh, uh, you know, I do remember Jerry's drive-in liquor being there then. I do remember that. That's just that, that sign, which of course doesn't at all comply with modern sign codes. But it's just grandfathered in because it's been there that long. But yeah, that neon sign that says Jerry's drive-in liquors. I distinctly remember passing that when I come down here with my dad in the 1970s. Yeah, he, uh, um, he, um, the oh, oh, place that I remember he used to always take me though as a kid, uh, me and my sister, is, uh, where the, uh, um, where the, uh, uh, Dutch Brothers Coffee is right now. There used to be a uh, snow cone place and it sold uh, in fact they used to call it snow <laughs> they used to just call it snow and they would sell um, snow cones and with so many different flavors available um, and uh, yeah if, if we if we if we took the trip <laughs> if I took the trip with my dad to the rent house while he was doing his maintenance there and was, uh, was well behaved while he was doing his, his, his work. Um, he'd always take us to get uh, get a snow cone at that place before heading back to Phoenix. So definitely a fun early childhood memory that I still have. So there's the uh, Tempe trolley tracks or Tempe streetcar. See the streetcar coming towards me. Um, kind of eager to see like how much. Now that ASU is back in session, how much use the uh, how much use the um, streetcar is getting compared to when I wrote it about a month ago when it was nearly empty? Uh, I would imagine with just seeing just seeing uh, seeing oh what do you call it seeing uh, um, Tempe orbit buses with signs on them saying full uh, and just seeing so many walking around the uh, east side of the campus just now. Um, I would imagine that, uh, that yeah, the uh, streetcar is probably actually probably getting some decent use right now. So this place here is some boroughs. I have never gone there. Um, this used to be a Wendy's. And I got to give, uh, give these guys credit. Um, they've done a really good job of remodeling it in such a way that it doesn't just scream old Wendy's. It's kind of funny how sometimes like fast food places will get remodeled into something else and, and you can just look at it and see what it used to be. I'm trying to remember what the heck this Boston Market used to be. Um, I'll tell you, it wasn't a Boston Market though. Whataburger on the other hand, still Whataburger. That's been here for a long time. There goes another orbit bus. I said I was going to talk about what happened to me on Tuesday. Yeah, it's way too much to distract me walking through this part of Tempe to even think about that. Um, but anyway, I'm going inside a water burger. I'm going to get me a, give me a breakfast burger and a, and a milkshake. And uh, Although, what is this? Honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. Ooh, that sounds good too. Yeah, it is definitely time for some uh, for some water burger and uh, shoot another video after that. Thanks for coming with me on the walk.